Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Dog Training. How do you teach your dog to fetch a ball or any toy and bring it back to you right to your hand? There are three ways. First, we're going to use two of the same item. I'm going to start out with two toys, two identical toys. Then we're going to switch to two identical little balls. So your dog has the same toy and the same ball in my hand as the one that she's going to go and fetch. That's the first way. And we're going to do this outside with Beezy because she likes toys. Beezy, want to play? So I have two toys. I'm going to throw one away from me and down the hill. Get it, Beezy. Get it. Good girl. And I'm going to squeak it. Oh, God bless you. And I'm going to throw the other one. Okay. So you see, Beezy is coming back to me. Good girl. And get it. Good girl. And what she's learning very quickly is bring it right back to me. Okay. There we go. Ready? And then we're going to throw it. Go get it. Get it, Beezy. Get it. And while she's playing with that one, we're going to grab this one. And this will bring her closer to me. Choo, get it. After we play with two toys, we're going to switch to two tennis balls. These squeak as well. So we're going to see if Beezy will retrieve these. So we're going to throw one. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Woo! Get it. Go find it. Good girl. And as she comes back, we're going to throw the other one. Excuse me, Nick. So what she's learning is bring the tennis ball back to me. Ready, Beezy? Ready? Ready, ready. Remember, if she's coming my way, I'm going to toss it that way. She can go down the hill and get it. And when she comes back, I'll toss it that way. So you can see you can play with this with two squeaky balls or with two toys. I like to play with toys. They're a little bigger for my dogs and they can grab onto them and they're a lot of fun. The second way is to use one toy or one ball and reward with a treat. So I'm going to toss the ball. I'm going to toss the toy. And when Beezy comes near me, I'm going to offer her a treat. Sometimes, if a dog is real food motivated, they will stop retrieving the toy because all they want is the treat. I'm going to be standing in the middle and tossing to my right and tossing to my left so that I'm never throwing away from my dog. I'm always having my dog come back to me, and then I throw the toy a different direction, away from me. My dog has to pass me, and then come back to me. That way, I am the center of the game. Now, my dogs love treats, so they're, they may be just gonna drop the toy, but. Ready, bees? Ready, take, good, take it. Nice job. Get it, beesy. Get it. Good girl. Beezy is coming back to me. And get it. Good girl. So the third way is to capture the behavior. So when your dog touches the toy, I'm going to click, just like a little mouth click, and I'm going to feed her. We're going to withhold the click until she holds it for longer and longer periods of time. So we're going to take the toy and we're going to see if Nikki's interested. And I clicked for her holding the toy. This will tell me that she will hold it longer. Ready? Go. Good. Now, I have to increase the amount of time she holds the toy. Ready? Here we go. go. Okay. Take it. Good. I get a better hold and a better fetch by capturing the hold than I do by playing with two toys or playing with a ball or playing with food. My dogs, and hopefully your dogs as well, understand that when you click, you are rewarding a behavior you like. So I'm going to try it again. The food doesn't come until I click. Ready? Here we go. Take it. Good. Now I need to get it to hold a little longer. Take it. Take it. Good. Nikki's starting to hold it longer. Ready? Nikki? 
take it. Good. See, I'm withholding my click now for a couple seconds. So what's going to happen is I'm going to continue withholding the click and my dog will learn to hold it, pick it up, and carry it. If you're getting some value from this video, please press that like button and subscribe to my channel so you get all the future videos. Okay, Nikki. Nikki. Good. Good girl. Good job. Take it. Good girl. Now we'll see if I can get it on the ground. Ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. Good. See, now Nikki has learned how to fetch in a very short period of time because I'm capturing the fetch. Take it. Good. Oh, Nick, that one's for you. Good girl. Good. See how much longer they're holding it? Hold it. Good. So now she's starting to hold it. I can add the word hold. Now we're going to see if we can actually get her to walk a couple steps to fetch. Good girl. Go ahead. Here. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Good. Now she's bringing it to hand just by that little click of marking the behavior. This is called capturing. Good girl. Now we got to get her to take a couple steps to go get the toy. So let's see what happens. Ready? Nikki. Nikki, get it. Good. So now she picked it up. She's learning to pick it up. And when she picks it up and turns back to me, she's learning to retrieve. There you go. Ready? There you go. There you go. Good girl. Good. And she's retrieving right to my hand. So this was a dog that did not know how to retrieve 15 minutes ago. That's how easy it is to teach your dog to fetch and bring it back to you. Go. Okay, take it. Good. Now I have a dog who's picking it up off the ground and bringing it back. Okay, good girl. Ready? Get it. Get it, Nick. Get it. Fetch. Good. So now the final step. Will she pick up the toy and bring it to me? So we're going to offer her the toy. Come. Good girl. And that is a retrieve to hand. So now the third way to me is the best because you capture a behavior. You take a dog that's never learned how to fetch and you just click for them touching it or say yes. And then you click for them grabbing it, holding it, holding it for a few more seconds. All of a sudden you have a dog that will hold a toy and hold it for as long as you want them to and bring it back to you because they're going to hold it until they hear the click and you're not going to click until they get back to you. That's how I would teach a dog to fetch a ball or a toy perfectly and bring it back to your hand. So now we have shown you three ways of how to teach your dog to fetch a ball or a toy. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, so you will receive all of the future videos. Leave me a comment. Did this help you to teach your dog how to fetch a ball or a toy? Bye from Joyce and Nikki and Beezy at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.